Yo, what's going on guys? It is Wrath here, and welcome back to my episode 8 of my Monster Hunter 1 playthrough. Um, I've got some good news and bad news. So, I've actually already recorded this episode, but it didn't get my uh, mic audio. I don't know why, but it didn't. So I still have the original video, um, but there's no me talking. So, I might upload that one separately. Um, I was actually using my sword and shield for that. But uh, now, we're actually using the Great Serpent Blade. Uh, we actually upgraded this bad boy all the way in the last video. So, there's actually no more upgrades for this thing. It's not the best great sword, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. We have the Poison Axe. The poison battle axe, but we're actually getting really close. We just need a lot more money. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna actually do the same mission again because you guys haven't actually seen that mission. Um, so we're gonna do it with the great sword instead of the, the poison axe. So for this one, you're just gonna want some potions, some mega potions. Herbs are pretty much recommended, and uh, antidote herbs. Those are also pretty good to have. Now this armor set will make this mission a breeze for you because of the status it gives you, knockout negated. Uh, the Gypsros is really good at knocking you out with its blinding flash. And because it can't use its blinding flash, we can uh, actually use that to attack him while we're doing that. So that's pretty good. Um, this episode is probably going to be posted a little bit later in the day. Um, lately that's been happening just because I haven't been recording as early. Uh, because of work and other things but uh, I think I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna record uh, a fair few episodes and set them on a, uh, a scheduled posting so they'll post every day at uh, roughly the same time so you'll always be able to uh, come around when you're free and, and watch those I try to post them as early as possible that way um, say you only have a few minutes throughout your day to watch it uh, it's it's there the whole time rather than it being posted in the afternoon and it only has a couple hours for it to get a fair few views even though these really don't get that many views anyways but you know as long as a few people are enjoying this uh, then I'm happy to do it uh, this actually kills them in three hits so it's fairly strong killing these guys is, is pretty much like almost mandatory I would say I hear her. There she is. So we only killed two, which is fine. We don't really need to worry about them that badly. But this is Gypsaros. Uh, he is the biggest wy wyvern we've fought so far. Not the biggest we've seen, as, as we already saw the Rathalos. But yeah, these Wolfango will really mess up your, your fight if you aren't careful. And she's actually going to do her, um, her stun. We got hit by the Bulfango instead. She's doing it again, and that's good for me. That loves me. But, you know, he didn't even care. Um, you would think that the, the Bulfango would be affected by it, but... Not really. But these guys just make this mission a living hell. And this is the last one, thankfully. Nice. And they don't respawn. And that's a good thing. Because <laughs> if they did, this this mission would be basically impossible. The Moss Runner are affected by that, though. I wonder why the Moss Runner is stunned, but the Bulfango aren't. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment section. Now, you can chase him around, but it's like just gonna keep running he runs for a while actually I think he makes three rotations you can't even see me so far gone oh last one I run the and to buy you his weak spot is his tail um, mostly so 
so if you can get a, a good attack on his tail, you should be able to get a stun off. I'm probably due for a stun, yeah, and he'll spit poison on you. I'm probably due for a stun about right here, if I can hit him. Now, Gyps Ross is one of those monsters that really requires uh, a certain type of play. I would say using a lance is probably your best bet. And that was an accident. I actually meant to take antidote herb. Now it won't always heal your poisoning, but it has a chance to. Because of that, I prefer to use them. As you can hit on the tail there. Yeah, we got a stun while he was mid. I think he's gonna run away, uh, possibly. He usually does that when he's running the area. But sometimes we just make a, a circle around. Yeah, he's actually leaving. So we killed all those Bulfango for pretty much nothing. Now, if you're ever having problems with this guy, you can definitely use traps. Uh, flash bombs do not work, though, because obvious reasons. But, um... Yeah. And he's not the hardest monster to fight, um, but the fight can be pretty annoying if you're not killing the, um... The Bullfango. Unless we got a full four hit combo there. I'm kind of sick. Uh, it's his allergies. Uh, springtime allergies to be exact. Uh, I have like a pollen. My body hates pollen. I don't know why. But me and pollen, we don't get along. And because of that, I will sniffle and sneeze constantly. And now he's in rage mode. I'm probably gonna get my full finger here. Oh no, we didn't get it. Nice. Let's see if we can kill this one. This one down. Maybe the other one will end up dying to poison. And there's really no point in chasing him around. He's just gonna run as much as he feels like it. circles the area like that it's super annoying it wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't such a mobile monster but because of that fact it really makes it a hassle to fight him and nice we actually didn't have to waste any of our antidote herbs on that That was actually the Bulfango that hit us there, not him. And then again, you see, if you're not careful, this Bulfango will, will completely, like, demolish you. Because there's so many in one area and nothing bothers them. Like, it's... This game, I would say, is one of the harder Monster Hunters, if not the hardest. Just because of your limited lack of resources, your limited options... The time it takes to gather things and the, the monster kill times, how there's no special skills for a large portion of them. The hitboxes. I think because of, it's such a basic game um, and has a, a fair few problems that it, it just makes the whole experience something harder. Like, the bull drum are so frustrating, or the bull bango, rather, are so frustrating. It makes. It makes this fight almost um, unfightable. It's, it's really bad. But if you can get past the Bulfango, um, the best bet is to clear out the area. Um, that's really all I can say, is try to clear out all the areas before you fight him. But if you plan on getting his armor, then prepare to be um, grinding for a while. And prepare for shit like that, because... It, 
This guy is just annoying. Like, it's, it's hard not to get frustrated when fighting him. He's going back to four, which is fine because we already killed the bullfanger there. But, man, this guy. Something else. And now would be a good time to sharpen, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Ow, oh, wow. I guess we are going to sharpen here. Sharpen here. <laughs> so frustrating. Probably the most frustrating monster in this game for me. I know for a lot of people it's Plesioth, or Plesioth, which, whichever way you pronounce it. Personally, you see, I, I'm under him, but it doesn't matter because of his height. But yeah, Chips Ross was always my least favorite uh, winner in the fight because of the poison, because of the running. I actually like fighting Rathalos better. Okay, this is his. This is where he fakes out and dies. Now he's not really dead. As you see from that. And he goes right back. Wow. I didn't know you could do that twice in a row like that. Okay. And then a wake up attack is worth double. Um, we didn't even touch him there, but he woke up in a flurry in rage mode. Which is fine because we're gonna be able to hit him with that. And I think we're, we're almost done with the fight. And there he goes, right back to sleep. Hilarious. Wow. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Somehow we were caught on the edge of his attack, and that's our first death of the series to a Gypsaros. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, so if you don't know, uh, when he does that wake up flurry attack, it's, it's one of the strongest attacks he has, if not the strongest attack. Jesus. That, this, this guy is just... The bane of my existence. Maybe he's going to go to here, or probably back to five. Yeah, okay, he's coming here. And that works for me, because there's no bull drum here. There's no anything here. And I say bull drum, but I, also, I always mean bullfango. I don't know why I call them drums. Do these other games. And we're done. Wow. One more hit and we would have been done. That's just my luck. <laughs> and he mostly drops his rubbery hides. Now to upgrade to the weapon that I'm using, you actually need to get a carve off of him called the Light Crystal. And um, I actually had to kill him a fair few times before I got the, the Light Crystal. Um, the best way to get that is by uh, breaking his face. Um, that crystal on his head is actually a light crystal. So if you break his face or do a lot of damage to his face, you have a higher chance to um, to get that light crystal. It's a pretty rare drop rate. Um, for the longest time, I thought it was a an ore that you had to mine from area uh, 11, 7, or 8, but it's actually not. That's a Gypsaros fight. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been way worse, but... Man. This is Bullfanger. so annoying. Let's see what we get for rewards. So not many real rewards, to be honest with you. Um, we got one rubbery hide, but... Not much else. I know a lot of people like to use the Gypsy Ross armor, but... Eh, it's not for me. Um... And we'll probably do one more quest because we're only at 15 minutes. Let's see what else we can do today. Um, bring me eggs in the desert zone. Uh, that we're going to make for a separate episode entirely. Um, we'll go ahead and kill some Ayu prey in the jungle. 
get those out of the way because I oh man I just hate these little gathering or gathering and um little slaying quests I they're not for me uh, I think a lot of the reason they added them was just to give the game a little bit more content but at the same time it's like that's not the content that we want But it does make like getting an armor set, like a specific armor set, easier if you need, you know, more. Um... And I don't think we've seen Ayu Prey yet, so this is what the Ayu Prey look like. They're just like um, de Jungle Zone Velociprey. They're a little bit stronger, and they spit poison. Let's see if we can catch one of these on the. And we're actually poisoned now. I didn't think we were going to get poisoned yet, but... Uh. Oh, nice. Maybe we can get it on the first one? Nice. I really think the further this uh, Let's Play goes, the more fun we're going to have. Just because a lot of these earlier missions are just kind of tedious. And I know I shouldn't be saying earlier missions because we're in the 5 star or the 4 star mission quest now. But uh, we still have a fair few fights of the big monsters that we haven't even seen yet. And that's when we'll start having, you know, real fun. I didn't realize how many Ayupray were in this area. It's like a slaughterhouse of them. And if we're not careful, we could actually die. <laughs> make two deaths in one episode to make up for the no deaths in the series so far. Alright, last one I think. Nice. Oh, they're actually still spawning. I hear him somewhere. There he is. That's 10 down. Nice. I hear another one somewhere. There you are. There we go. So this mission's actually going by a lot quicker than I expected. There's one. And just like the Velocidrome and the Cephadrome, you bet there's a... an Ayu... Uh, I don't even know what his name is. I think it's Ayu... Drome? Ayu Drome? I don't know. I figured it would be the same. But I'm not sure. That kind of sounds weird. And then there's another uh, one of these little prey guys called the Gim Prey. And those guys actually will, uh, instead of poisoning you. Oh, there's a Kutku here. And instead of poisoning you, the Gendrome will actually stun you. And so will the Gim Prey. So let's go ahead and kill this guy since we're already here. at this point the Kukku really isn't that much of a threat. We still need to really upgrade our armor set. I've been waiting around and waiting around, but I think I'll get around to doing that soon. Oh, we actually knocked him out of the air there. We have wind resistance, so we don't even have to worry about that. 
But we do have to worry about that. Um, we are getting a little bit low on health now, so... We need to be pretty careful about how we handle this. He's in rage mode, which is fine because the Kaku in rage mode really doesn't do much at all. And that's it. A lot of bugs here though, jeez. See if we can get them all with one good backswing. Maybe we can get a cut coup ear off of this. Uh, shell. Hmm. We don't really need those small barrel bombs anymore. And of course we would get paralyzed, like... And then we're gonna die to the bugs. Nice. Okay. So I'm thinking they're gonna be in Area 7. So we're just going to head on down there. That's where they usually are. Even outside of this quest. Yeah, there's a few here. I think we can get a two-hit combo if we... Or two-hit kill if we sheath. Yeah, the sheets does a little bit more damage than the other ones. So it's like a good uh, combination to just roll after it and re-sheath and then redraw it. I thought about making the Rathalos armor set, but I'm not sure if I want to use the Rathalos or the Rathian or... So the, for the Verathian, it gives you more um, stamina, I, I believe. No, it's health. Let's see if there's any in here. Probably not. Oh, they are. So the Verathian armor set gives you more health, but the Verathalos armor set gives you more attack. And I'm leaning more towards the attack, so that's what I'll probably end up gearing for. But if I wait to get the Rathalos set and I use the Velocipray until then, um, we're going to have a rough time. But maybe not. Um, because actually, no, I won't spoil it. But we'll be fighting a Rathalos uh, before too long. So, no real worrying about that there. I think these are the last two that I have to kill. Oh, that was a good little accidental hit. Let's see if we can kill him with this last one. And the last one, done. Nice. And the beauty about these missions is you only ever have to do them once. So if, if you can just take the time to do them, you'll never have to do them again. And I promise you, it is worth doing every single mission. 100% sure. Because you're going to see why we've done every mission. Now, you don't have to do all the missions uh, to complete the game. But to get to what we want to do, we definitely have to complete every single one. Because um, that is a lot more content that we will get. Uh, I won't spoil anything. But if you're ever playing Monster Hunter, especially Monster Hunter 1, clear every single mission. Because you don't know what you might unlock. And that's all I'll say about that. With only 15 seconds left, uh, I think this is going to be the last episode, or the last um, mission of this episode. Next episode, we are going to be doing the Deliver Me Eggs quest, or the Bring Me Eggs quest in the desert. And, um, so, 
prepare yourselves for that because that is that's a job in its whole we might actually need the whole episode for that uh, but after that it's pretty much smooth sailing uh, everything else will be just mainly you know boss fights and fun boss fights I over fangs and uh, hides and some small monster bombs and a thousand bucks We'll see what else we have to do other than the, the bring me eggs quest before we end this episode off. I think we actually have to kill a, a few more of those little missions like that. Yeah, so bring me eggs and we have to catch a cuckoo. And then um, the other two little small gathering missions. But yeah, guys, we will probably do that bring me eggs quest and probably kill some Velocipray in the next episode. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I am going to post the other episode, uh, the one that we actually recorded without the sound. Uh, I'll probably post it at the end of... No, no. I'll figure out how to post it, and then I'll post it. Uh, it'll probably be like a blooper or something. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. It's been Wrath, and I will see you guys next time. Later.